Hi guys, welcome to the channel VST here, Valence Peace Tech, and you can see from the wallpaper, it's gonna be a, yeah, hard video. We're gonna be turning off some settings that I do recommend every Android phone user to turn off. So, hence you get this very beautiful, nice summary wallpaper, for which the link you can find into my video description. And I'm also wearing my samurai shirt. So without any further ado, guys, I'm giving you top Android settings you should turn off. I'm using my Samsung S21 Ultra, but chances for you to have those settings are very high if you have an Android phone. And the first thing we're gonna be starting is tip number one, setting number one to be turned off, and this is the nearby device scanning. Now on my phone, that's quite easy. I just need to go inside the settings, click here, and just type for device scanning, okay? See here, connections and connections, I have more connection settings, nearby device scanning. What is nearby device scanning? It's meant to make your life easier, and your phone always to be into this standby mode and somebody approaches you with a device like my <laughs> Nothing Ear headphones. You can see my review here about the Nothing Ear One headphones. Then your phone will automatically discover these devices and will try to offer you quick pairing support, right? Which is actually not a bad thing, but if you ask me guys, if you're outside in the public and don't wanna get discovered and also it will cost you some battery life, so safely turn this off. Speaking about device and connectivity, let me show you other things you can disconnect. Once you're inside your settings menu, you probably have something called Google, unless you're using a Huawei phone, right? You get the joke. Click guys inside Google, right? Once you're there, click on the three dots and you're gonna see something called usage and diagnostic, right? So why should you or myself send my data to Google out there, well, yeah, just help them improve Android device experience by sending this data and blah, blah, and blah, blah. Well, you know what? No, I don't wanna send my data. So tip number two, setting number two for you to turn off, turn off the usage and diagnostics. All right, back into the main settings menu, you'll have also something called location. Again, you might be using MIUI, you might be using the color OS. It will probably be about the same. Click inside location, guys. And there's something called location services. Click inside location services, boom. You have here some settings, yeah, you probably don't need. Wi-Fi scanning, Bluetooth scanning, again. Wi-Fi scanning is used by your application to get better accuracy. And Bluetooth scanning is also used by your application to get improved location detection. But you know what? Again, this will cost you some privacy and also it will cost you some battery life. So if you ask me, boom, boom and then you're done. If you wanna take this to the extreme, guys, there are some Google location services like the emergency location, also your Google location, that's just like a tip, I'm using this, right, so I don't wanna shut it out, but you, will you wanna go to the extreme? Yeah, turn them off. Now, guys, tip number four, setting number four, very important. We use our phones on a daily basis, hours and hours. Why do we use them? Because we download 1,000 apps, and what? can those apps do besides giving us fun, etc. Yeah, some of those apps installed on our phone can install other apps, right? So go inside your search setting, start typing unknown, okay? And you're gonna see, guys, something under biometrics and security. Again, it will be probably about the same in your phone. Install unknown applications, okay? Once you're there, just click it, and then you're gonna see installing apps from these sources may put your phone and data at risk. So I know I'm using APK Mirror, and APK Mirror is just like an alternate Play Store, and it can install APKs on its behalf, right? So I don't want this. Add to it the same, right? So add to it up, can apparently install other APKs, right? Chrome as well. So let's say you're downloading something, it's not certified, it's not from the Google Play Store, and yeah, I do this a lot, right? And then you can install it from Chrome. I can do this also via my file managers, right? But you need to review this list and just turn this setting off for applications you are not well aware of. My last tip will include the usage of developer options. So if you don't know how to enable those one, you need to check your phone. In general, it's very easy. You just need to find your software version, then tap it nine times, and I'll leave this up to your imaginations. But once you have it, guys, developer options, go inside, okay? Scroll down to the app section here application section we have something called the background check 
Clicking it will give you some applications that apparently are using your phone's resources and that's not bad if you know about this. But I have here an application Lima that is giving me some information about the road condition which apparently was using my phone 7 hours ago and I don't want this. And also up to it was using my phone on the 19th of January, I don't want this. So what I'm gonna do guys, I'm just going to disable all of that and now be able to sleep a bit better during night. So those were guys my 5 Android settings I would immediately turn off. I really hope you have liked the video, if that's the case don't forget to really like it. Please you and your family stay safe, right? Don't forget to download this stunning wallpaper, link down below into the video description, subscribe for the channel and stay safe. VST over and bye.